Hello friends. I hope you are staying indoors, staying safe and I hope uh, and pray that all your near and dear ones are also safe and sound. In this video, I want to answer a question that a lot of my viewers have asked me. They've connected with me on social media and raised a query and they're very concerned and I don't blame them as to why the WIX or the volatility index failed traders in the last few weeks. Now friends, the WIX is supposed to be a fairly reliable indicator because it uh, measures volatility. When volatility falls, that means the fear factor is lower. That means uh, the intraday thrashing about of prices is supposed to be lower. Markets are supposed to be calm and that means confidence levels of traders is higher and technically speaking, the market therefore should be going higher. However, in spite of the wicks falling, the uh, markets were the headline indices also were falling. Now, this is a dichotomy and I want to answer this even though I keep uh, I keep posting this on my social media pages where I would uh, urge you to connect with me so that we can get ideas going, talks going. We can have uh, conversations and help each other grow as traders. I've kept clarifying that there is an inherent flaw in using the Wix as a standalone gauge of fear or volatility. You see, the Wix is of uh, 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 the many inputs that it takes. One of them and a primary one that too is that it takes the volatility and the mobility in the options premium to basically construct the index. What is the movement in option prices? It is nothing but expectations of buyers and sellers who feel that the market might just go higher and therefore they are writing even higher strike price calls and since they are expecting the prices to go higher, they might even go up and ramp up uh, the strike price of the put options that they are writing. All right. But do remember that this is the trader's perception. This is not what the market necessarily wants to do. To that extent, you are basically letting hope come into the construction of the wicks. If the trader is creating uh, uh, positions out of hope, he, he can't be 100% mathematical and not all traders will be right. Otherwise, there would be no market at all. So if you're going to construct the wicks based on the mobility and uh, uh, the uh, uh, volatility in the options premium and the premium is impacted by the buying and selling decisions of traders who are not necessarily always mathematical, the wicks itself cannot be 100% mathematical. Take a look at your uh, screen, uh, see the chart of the wicks and how I've constructed the nifty and the bank nifty as thick straight lines. The wicks itself is plotted like a candle chart. You see how the wicks topped out on uh, the 26th of February 2021. Uh, it, the level it was reading was 29.64. And it fell all the way to 16.68 on 18th of March 2021. And the reason why I've superimposed the indices on the same chart is at the same time when the wicks was falling, you would have ideally expected the indices to go up. But there you have it. You have uh, uh, basically uh, trend lines which are uh, uh, indicating that the indices were falling. The bank nifty, of course, much more sharper and much more steeper than the nifty itself. But the fact remains, the undeniable fact remains that while the wicks was falling, so were the headline indices. Now, this means that not only was the wicks inaccurate and deceptive, but more concern was that it would have handed you losses. What are your options? What is a better yardstick and what can you do? I can't really just point out a, a problem and cut you loose and leave you fending for yourself. I'm here offering you a solution. The solution is instead of using the wicks, 
start depending on the statistical beta. It's a measure that takes the price of the underlying asset itself. Now the option or the option premium is actually a derivative of a derivative. When you're going to take a derivative of a derivative, why just not take the underlying asset and the volatility in the price itself? The price is God and how much it's thrashing about in a market should be more concerning uh, uh, to you as a trader rather than the option which is a derivative of the price and the option premium which is a derivative of the option. Why go indirectly when you can go directly which is why in our in-house statistical model the Barracuda we use the statistical beta rather than the Wix. In addition to the statistical beta, we also deploy a lot of deploy a lot of in-house uh, 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 statistical tools, which I keep sharing with you in our weekly market outlook videos. And uh, almost every month or month and a half, I share newer tools with you. So we started out with uh, uh, the MWPL measure. We started out um, uh, with the basis, which is the futures uh, premium over the spot. We now uh, are also covering uh, the impetus, the velocity or the uh, acceleration in the prices in both directions up and down. And it has been 29 weeks since I've been making these weekly market outlook videos. And out of these 29 weeks, 28 weeks have seen the index levels, the projected ranges that we give you matching perfectly well. Prior to this, of course, the uh, weekly market outlook uh, newsletter used to come to you in WhatsApp via PDF uh, uh, file form. But uh, uh, 29 weeks ago, we consciously decided to switch to a video format of this e-newsletter. And is there uh, uh, anything that I expect from you from all these uh, in, in, in lieu of all these services? No, I don't offer any services. I run an incorporated limited company that trades for a living. I've been doing this for 35 years. My company is now 28 years old. I have no course to sell you. We are not a brokerage firm. We have no services or products to sell for or sell to you. All I want is I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of like minded uh, uh, savvy traders, mathematicians, statisticians, model system, uh, uh, model builders, etc. So that we can help each other become better traders. So friends, Coming up on my uh, on your screen is uh, 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 my social media coordinates. Feel free to connect with me. We can get conversations going, uh, touch base, and keep uh, watching these videos because uh, I'm gonna pr uh, I'm gonna be putting forward a lot of ideas from our in-house statistical model, the Barracuda, which I'm sure will help you become far better traders. Friends, if you like this video, please uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so, click on the bell icon to receive instant alerts about fresh videos being put up out here. In the comments section, do let me know how helpful my videos have been to you and what else I can do to make it even better. If you really liked what you saw, help me reach out to like-minded people by recommending and referring my videos to your family and friends. I wish you stay safe, stay profitable, stay ahead of the market, which is what my videos are all about to make you ahead of the market. And I'll keep getting you more and more ahead of the Brat Pack. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching my videos. Take care. Bye-bye.